Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the various type of reproduction performed by the kingdom Protesta. So let us look into what are the different types. The first type is the protests can reproduce asexually. So how or what are the different ways by which protests can uh, uh, reproduce asexually? Let us discuss. So we know asexual reproduction is a uniparental mode of reproduction because here only a single parent is used or required. Here the uh, function of two gametes that is the fusion of male and female gamete is not required. So this is a asexual type of reproduction. Now this type of reproduction very importantly they produce clones. What do we mean by clones? Exact copies which are similar or exactly same that is uh, as that of the parents. So they are known as clones. The daughters and the parents do not have any difference. They are same type of organisms which are produced only by asexual type of reproduction. Now asexual reproduction can happen in different modes. So what are those? First of all they can divide by binary fission. Here what happens a parent cell it divides into two equal daughter cells. Now the parent cell divides its cytoplasmic content, its nucleus also divides, its cytoplasmic content is distributed equally amongst these two daughter cells and then uh, it divides into two uh, uh, new daughter cells. So this is a type of binary fission which is a mode of asexual reproduction. The next type is known as multiple fission. Here it is similar to that of binary fission. In binary fission what happens only two daughter cells are produced from a particular parent. But in multiple fission what happens a number of daughter cells are produced that is more than two daughter cells are produced in the same way as that of binary fission. Hence this is known as multiple fission. Now the next type is known as plasmotomy. So what is plasmotomy? It is a slightly different type of asexual reproduction. Here the organisms are multinucleated that is a single organism has more than one nucleus that is nuclei. So what happens here? The cell will when the cell divides actually cytoplasmic division occurs without the division of nucleus. Hence the new organisms which are developing they will have multinucleated uh, they will be multinucleated. So this type of asexual reproduction or this mode is known as plasmotomy. Now the next type is known as spore formation. Spores are nothing but very hard rigid structures which are only produced if the organisms are uh, exposed to unfavorable conditions. Some examples of unfavorable conditions like very high temperature, a large amount of water or lack of water, very uh, high or very low pH. So these adverse environmental conditions results in the formation of very resistant structures which are known as spores. Now these spores when they are exposed to proper uh, environmental conditions or favorable environmental conditions now they generate into uh, uh, they, gener they will now generate into a new organism. So this is a type of uh, asexual reproduction via spore formation. The last type is known as budding. This is a very simple method of asexual reproduction. Here a small very small outgrowth happens in case uh, from the surface of the organism. Now this outgrowth slowly detaches and separates out from the parent body. Now these this separated body will now develop into an absolutely new organism. So this is uh, known as budding which is a form of asexual reproduction. Now let us look into the sexual mode of reproduction. This is different from asexual mode of reproduction in the way because it is biparental. That means it requires two parents and a very important function which happens here is the fusion of male and female gamete. That is they require two gametes in order to uh, perform sexual reproduction. And a, an, another phenomenon is uh, they do not produce clones. That is some variable characteristics is achieved in case of sexual reproduction. Now this sexual reproduction it actually involves two processes. First of all meiosis 
this is uh, basically the it reduces the number of chromosomes that is from 2n to n if an organism is to have 2n number of chromosomes for example if organism have 46 chromosomes now during reproduction via meiosis it will re be reduced to n that is 23 which uh, this is an example i am giving in case of human beings so the number of chromosomes get halved it get reduced the next type is known as fertilization here the fusion of two gametes that is if organism have n number of uh, gametes now they will fuse and form 2n number so it is basically the reverse of my, uh, meiosis so these two are basically two different processes now let us take a look on what are the different methods of sexual reproduction the first method is known as syngamy so uh, here the complete fusion of two gametes takes place to produce a diploid zygote so uh, fusion will happen and the zygote the new organism or the zygote which is being formed will have diploid number that is 2n number of chromosomes this can happen in three different types that is it can be isogamy which means the two gametes which are fusing they are of similar types it can be anisogamy which means the two gametes which are fusing they can be of dissimilar types now the third type which is known as ogamy this is a basic uh, is it, it is a quite different here a large non motile gamete fuses with a small motile gamete so this is known as ogamy so these are the three types isogamy anisogamy and ogamy type of uh, syngamies so this is a type of sexual reproduction the next method of uh, sexual reproduction we will be talking about is conjugation conjugation happens because of a temporary union of two individuals so two individuals unite together very it's a temporary union that is it's not permanent it will be uh, this union will be degraded after some time so it's temporary very important to be noted uh, to exchange haploid pronuclei which actually helps in the formation of zygote nucleus so they unite to exchange the pronuclei which is haploid in nature then it will result in the formation of a zygote basically the zygote nucleus here each individual with a zygote nucleus they will produce a daughter individual so each individual which has got the zygote nucleus now it will uh, give result into the formation of a daughter nucleus this will actually happen by the process of binary fission which we have discussed in asexual mode of reproduction so in this video we have talked about the different modes of reproduction performed by protists we have talked about some of the asexual mode of reproduction performed by the protist and also we have talked about some of the sexual mode of reproduction performed by the kingdom protists i hope you have understood and like this video thank you